What's up guys? In this video, I will demonstrate how you can use other prepaid SIM cards on your factory lock AT&T iPhone 4S by using the RSIM adapter. With this, you don't have to dial a number or play around with the settings. All you need to do is just put a micro SIM on it and insert it on the iPhone 4S. So here's my T-Mobile SIM card which I cut down with a pair of scissors so it will fit on the SIM card tray. Just be careful not to overcut it. Before I try this, I just want to show you that this is an iPhone 4S, not an iPhone 4. So there's Siri. The RSIM adapter is only compatible with the iPhone 4S with firmwares 5.0 up to 5.01, as you can see here. Okay, now let's pop out the SIM card tray here with the AT&T SIM card. Let's take this off and insert the T-Mobile SIM in here because I want to show everyone what will happen if you put a different SIM card in here without the R-SIM adapter. Let's go ahead and slide this back in. Right now, it says no SIM. Okay, it seems like I have a new voicemail. But wait, the notification badge on the phone app also disappeared. That's because the iPhone has detected that the SIM is not a valid one. It's searching for a network right now. The iPhone will reboot. Activation required. Activating the iPhone. And that's it. SIM not valid. So that's what will happen if you put a different SIM card in here. Now let's pop out the SIM card tray again. Let me put the AT&T SIM card back here again and start over. No SIM. No service. Searching. Let's put this down first. And there we go. It now says AT&T as the carrier. So here is the RSIM adapter on the SIM card tray. Just take your T-Mobile SIM card or whatever you want to use. Okay. Let's pop out the SIM card tray again. So we can replace it with the RSIM adapter with the T-Mobile SIM card. Let's slide this in. I noticed that the T-Mobile SIM card is actually thicker than the AT&T one. That's why it's a little harder to do this. There we go. As you can see, it still says no SIM on the upper left corner, but that will change in a few seconds. Okay, I got the voicemail. And check it out, the notification badge is still on the phone app, so that's a good sign already. Now it says no service, searching, it should connect to T-Mobile in a few seconds. And there we go, it now says T-Mobile as my carrier. And as you can see, under network, it says T-Mobile. Now let's try this out. Let's dial 611, put this on speaker so you can hear. And there we go. The RSIM adapter really works. It's really easy to use and you don't have to play around with the settings. Now let's put the AT&T SIM card again just to show you how quick and convenient this process is. Just give it a few seconds to a minute for it to find the network.
I got a low battery warning so that means I have to charge my iPhone after this. And there we go, it's now on AT&T. Let's quickly dial 611 again. Turn the speaker on. Thank you for calling AT&T about your wireless service. So yeah, that is how to unlock the iPhone 4S. You don't even have to jailbreak to do this. So if you are planning to go somewhere where you cannot use AT&T, but still would like to use your iPhone 4S to call or send messages, then just buy the RSIM adapter. Please like this video, comment down below if you have any questions, and share the video on Twitter if you like it. I will really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.